Um, so now we're going to move on to the main event of Sunday. SummerSlam. You botched that one. The main yeah. event of Sunday. So uh, we have 10 matches, so we'll try to move a little bit, but no promises. First up is a singles match for the Cruiserweight Championship. Drew Gulak defends against my boy, Oni Lorcan. Let's go. I'm so pumped and Jackie's in this. I think this is going to be a good match. I'm going to put it at 3.5, though. Um, 3.5? 3.5 flammability. And I, I'm assu- I think it's too early for Gulak to lose. I would love to see Oni win, but it's not time yet. So give me Gaba Gulak. You hung out with uh, Oni, didn't you? I have. He's a good guy. He's a he's one of a really good friend to my boy uh, Sherman. They're really close. He's a good guy. Sure thing. The sure thing, Mark Sherman. Friend of the podcast. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> I love him. <sighs> he's a good guy. Anyway, look, I will say this much: I will give it to Gabagulak as well because, quite frankly, I don't know enough. I'm not really excited about this match. I know it'll probably be. It doesn't really have good. much build. They decided it yeah, literally last I w- night. I'm going to give it a 1.5. Wow. I'm going to give it to a, a meh kind of rating. Wow. There you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Next up is a singles match. Whoa. It's like rock and roll. Dana losing control against, woo, Charlotte Flair. Um, for me, flammability, just in terms of, like, the intrigue and Trist coming back in Canada, Charlotte, like, the thing, it's, I don't, I think the actual match will be short. I hope it is. But in terms of, like, overall thing. That's going into this. I'm giving it four flames. Wow. I have a lot of interest in this. I think this is a fascinating matchup, and I think Charlotte's going to win. I think they're going to do the right thing. I think Trish is coming back to get Charlotte over, who doesn't need it, but just to, like, reassert her as the most dominant female species. Charlie wins. Yep. Ready for this? Yep. Trish wins. I knew you were going to do that. Da- the, 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 Charlotte should win. Should be shoveling her, burying her with it. <laughs> And I hope she does. I hope I'm wrong. If it wasn't, if it was like Sasha or someone, I'd pick yeah. Trish. But Charlotte, oh, yeah. I think Charlotte's the one. I, for some reason, she I is. think I think this is not over. The one. I yeah. Pff. I want to talk about burying somebody. Uh, look, uh, tsh- I will go with uh, Big Trish the dish because she don't miss when she's in Toronto. Flammability. I'm gonna say I'm excited for this one. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna set the bar a little bit low so I'm not disappointed. I'm gonna give it a three. Okay, that's because fine. I, I think feel that's like, fair. I think, I, think, fair. I think if they jump over it, I'm excited. If they hit the bar, it's okay. They are the bar, and that's fine. I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Let's move on. Da-na. The main event. Da-na-na-na. Na. Goldberg versus Ziggler for the geriatric jobber. I'm not going any higher than that. My voice is going to crack. Um, so, yeah, Goldberg and Ziggler. It's Goldberg, obviously. Flammability, 3.9. Why the fuck not? I, th- this, these Honestly, these past two matches, stuff that I didn't think I'd be optimistic about, I am. So why not? I think it's going to be quick. Um, it's going to happen, and it's going to be fine. Are we are we doing flammability based on the fact of how hyped we are? Here's the thing are about the flammability. On, here's uh, the thing about the flammability rankings. Yes, they can be whatever the fuck you want. They don't right. have to be consistent. One okay. match you can think is the actual match. Okay. The other can be the hype. Okay. That's the beauty of our scales, baby. <laughs> they make no sense like we, us. We tip the scale when we want yeah, to. Because if there's one thing about our scales, they are. <laughs> Man, you got a strong button game today. Uh, you know, I'm gonna give it a two point seven. Okay. I'm excited. Above average. It, it is. It's it's but it's not medium. It's not medium rare. Maybe maybe it is. It's it, maybe it is medium rare. That's that, my my. That's why I like to live. It. Yeah. Yeah. It's pink. Yeah. I'm fine with it. You want a little it, bit of a wiggle when it's going down your throat? Sure. I didn't ever think you'd say that. A little wiggle down the throat, but that's like a live animal. Not you a want penis. a live animal down your throat. Yeah, you want you want you want your meat to be breathing a little bit when you're eating it. Just a little bit, not too much, but like enough that like enough a, to know that you've eaten another animal. A lo- enough to know that like it was alive at some point. You're you're you are a carnivore canoe. You know that? I'm actually thinking about going to a plant based diet. Are you really? No fucking way. Car- I love hamburgers too much. I just yeah I, I don't know. I just can't do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we picked that. Moving on. Singles match for the WWE United States Championship. AJ Styles defends against Pew 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 Ricochet. Can't wait. Flammability factor. Flamma. What? What? No. 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 Way. Fucking way. Well, let's hear it. Say it. Flammability factor zero. Zero. Zero, because it's happened already, and nobody cares. Just like we're going to do zero for right, later. Hypocrite. Every time Rain and Johnny wrestle, I love it. Because it's different. This is going to be good. Flammability, 
Three point five flames. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think. I mean, this match. I think it's gotta probably, go. AJ has to be AJ. Yeah, I would think AJ. It's AJ, but yeah. I cannot. This is my thirty-two X. This is the one that I don't pay for. This is the one that I don't even watch. I am going to go to the bathroom. I'm getting a snack. I'm telling you right now, this one is going to be not enough time. AJ Styles, boom, forearm done. Good night with the club celebrating. Good night. Fickle. Yep. Uh, next up is a singles match between. The man with a lot of abs, Finn Balor, versus Let Me In. Yowie wowie. The Firefly Funhausen fiend, Bray Wyatt. So, uh, flammability, five flames. Oh, yeah, this has to be a doubt. Peak. Like, peak. in terms of, like, everything, like, hype, what will actually happen, everything, five flames. And that uh, does the fiend, Bray Wyatt. Well done. Yeah. My steak is so well done. Steaks and wakes, baby. I love this stuff. I cannot wait for it. I, this is my main event. This is Detective Nestle loving every second of this match. I don't care. I just want him to pull him down to the ring afterwards. I want his soul to be gone. I want some type of theatrical thing at the end. That's all I want. Ab puppet. That's all I care about. Just, I don't care if he eats him in front of the crowd. I don't care if he sends him into the, to purgatory. I don't know what. Give me something, some disappearance. Give me some type of wonder. I want this stuff. Okay. You're going to hit this button, weren't you? Nasty. Well, you said eat him out in front of the crowd. I was like, oh. Eat him up. Okay. You heard what you want. Yeah. Well. Just like a certain I hear what I hear. in college. Singles match. Um, if Owens loses, he will be forced to quit WWE. I think this will kick off the show. Kevin Owens versus the worst in the world, Shane McMahon. KO is winning because I hope he isn't leaving. And flammability, uh, one flame. Just because KO. One flame. KO in Canada gets one flame. and No, KO in Canada gets four flames, but it's minus three for Shane, so one flame. Wow. I don't really care. I just hope if... if you are you If are Owens beats fickle. him, and, if Owen beats him like you beat Ziggler, then it'll be five, but it's not going to be. They're going to actually have a match. And there's going to be a lot of schmozzes. There's going to be a McIntyre. There's going to be an Elias. There'll probably be a revival. There's going to be like... Everyone who's ever sniffed Shane, Mc, Shane McMahon's buttocks will probably be involved in this match. Don't care. One flame. Here's what I want. I want this to end... However, I think based on the factor of everything that goes on, if KO loses, it's more interesting. Yeah, because you never really get fired. No, but it's interesting. So it isn't, me, though, because Shane's still here, so which is So you're going to say KO. Yeah, KO. I'm going to say Shane. Yeah. Because I feel like if he's truly the best in the world. He's not. In his mind. He's going to win somehow. I hope he doesn't. I hope I'm wrong. I don't care about winning predictions this time. I want to see KO win, but I feel like you can't bet against the sweat. You know what I mean? I, I don't disagree with that part, but yeah, moving on. Singles match for the WWE SmackDown Women's Championship. Hey, her name is Bailey, and she's the defending champion against Ember is a da, 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 Ember Moon. Um, this match, uh, my hype meter, I love Ember. I like Bailey. Um, but this match, I don't really care about. 1.5 out of respect for both of them. And I think Bailey's going to retain and should retain. Wow. Yeah. Wow. No. My flammability for this is 0.5. Not excited. I'm a little bit hot. Not really. No, you're not. I'm cold. I'm yeah. cold. I'm cold. I said burn. It's, it's cold, cold in here. here. There must be some, some shitty storylines in the atmosphere. I said ooey, ooey, ooey. Shit, shit, shit. That's all right. That's okay. You're going to pump our gas someday. If you should have seen, he was like... That's the thing. Yeah, I know. That's the dance. The visual isn't good, guys. Be lucky this is radio. Get a face for radio, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. My flame ability, like I said, 0. 0.5, and I will give it to A. Bailey. All right, moving on, because I don't care anymore. Submission match for the Raw Women's Championship. Woof. Um, Here's the thing. I already wasn't interested in the match. The most, Besides the steel cage match, the most boring match to me is a submission match, because it's an excuse for them to just do holds the whole time. Um, so I'm going to give this 0. 0.1 flames. Point one. And I'm gonna pick Becky. That's all I have to say. So you because you did point one and I did zero, I'm the bad guy. Well, I'm just out of respect. I'm not gonna give it zero because I I love Becky still. Even though the man is a little not as super hot fire as she was. It's more of like a bah, 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 as She's opposed moderately. to moderately And Natty is a wet fart. I'm sorry. Just she is. So this match point one. Out of respect. But yeah. Becky wins? I hope so. But yes. I think Becky will win as well. I'm hoping that the the swerve will be there because it'd be hilarious if if Natty wins in front of her hometown or her they home did it before they did it a couple years ago. She her won the title country. at SummerSlam. It is what it is. It doesn't matter. It's a submission match. If Bret Hart gets paraded out there, it'll be even worse. I'm sure. Yeah. But it is what it is. Moving on. 
Uh, a singles match for the WWE Universal Championship. Brock Lesnar defends against Seth Rollins. I will give this no flames, and I will pick Brock Lesnar. Zero. I have zero interest in this match. I don't care. Don't care. Uh, much like my uh, Becky and Natty desire, I'm going to give that one. I forgot to give one. Uh, I'm going to give that one a zero, and I'm also going to give this match a zero as well. Yep. I'm not excited about either of these matches, and I believe Brock Lesnar will beat him in definitive fashion. Thank God. I believe that – I. here's my thing. I think that not only does Brock Lesnar beat him definitively, I think that Brock Lesnar beats him after the match, and we don't see – <laughs> for a while. I think that it's going to happen. I think he deserves some time off. I think he's been a steady Eddie and he needs some he needs some uh, recharging. And I think that this is it. Bloody Seth in a pay-per-view would be great. I think it's definitive. I think it's one-sided and then we still have the reigning defending Universal Champion Fruit Roll-Up Brock Lesnar. Yeah, I have nothing to add. But now it's time for the main event of SummerSlam, the match that we have been waiting for ever since Kofi put that strap over his shoulder at WrestleMania and celebrated with his adorable children. Ever since that happened, there has been one hope, a hashtag JC's hope, that we knew was going to come true, and it did. Randy Orton versus Kofi Kingston for the WWE Championship in the main event of SummerSlam. What a day. It deserves more. Super hot fire, no doubt about this. Five flames times infinity, so max flames. The max flames possible, this match. I honestly have no fucking clue who's gonna win, which I think adds to it, because I could totally see, see Kofi just winning. I could see them extending it somehow. I hope it's not a schmazz ending, but I could see it. But I could also see them having Orton win, having him be the face as we go to Fox. So to me, just like infinity, infinity flames. And if you're making me pick, I'm going to pick Kofi. There you go. But that's not confident. I have no confidence in that pick, which I think is awesome. That is, again, another reason why this match is so good is I have no fucking clue what they're going to do. And to me, that is a beautiful, Can't beautiful, call it. beautiful thing. The main event of SummerSlam. You keep looking at me thinking you're going to be a smart mark here, thinking you're going to be right. I feel bad for you. You're going to end up having to have an Undertaker line on Twitter and as well as taking that great photo with that amazing shirt that Ben has. My so my play that. look based on the fact that there's a match, based on the fact that there's a bet, five flames because we got something to play for here, folks. And I know that you're kind of a degenerate gambler, and that sometimes you Not bet with. You... I'm a I'm a winning gambler. Oh yeah? yeah, if you're winning, why would you be doing here? You'd be if you were really a winner, you'd well, be outside no, on a yacht no, 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 somewhere. No, 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 that's like, no, no, no. that's I say just... you winning in small bills doesn't make you that big. No, of a winner. it's an incremental increase. Like a good gambler, if if I win like. 60%, like that's, I'm going to slowly make money over time. No one wins at 80% and just gets rich. Someone, you have to get lucky, like you make $1,000 bet and you hit it, like, but there's a lot of people who do that and don't, and they go the other way. I am just an incremental builder. I'm just walking up the steps. It's a long road to the top, baby, but I'm on board. Josh has an itch. Who the, who fuck, the is Josh? fuck is Josh? JC has an itch. It's like you're trying to make me like Bray Wyatt, have multiple personalities. I don't want the fiend to attack me, damn it. That would be scary. It didn't hit, but you get the point. You misfired. Way to go. Yowie, wow. I've misfired a lot in my life. It's coming handy. Oh, boy. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> I'm excited. Five flames for this one, SummerSlam style. I'm going to go with Kofi because you got to go with the Kof. I'm very confident that this will not be the main event, and I will be seeing you in a Undertaker shirt. So Kofi wins. I win. Everybody wins because this doesn't go on last. It's a fun night for everybody but JC. Um, no, I'm going to have a fun night no matter what. Okay. Like, no matter what happens... When this match happens, I'll be in bliss. Even if I do lose the bet, which I won't. There's like a 1% chance of me 1%. losing this match. 1%? Like, it doesn't matter. because There's I, 10 I matches. I am getting what I want. I'm the kid who literally, a year before Christmas, said, this is what I want. And it was like the most crazy thing. It was like, ah, it won't happen. And everything played out perfectly how I wanted it. Literally, like, I couldn't have written the script of how this happened better. And it's just like, I'm in love. I'm in love with this match. I'm in love with this feud. I am in love with these two men. I am in love with everything You're they're in love about. With these two men. That's Together, beautiful. they are the perfect mix of beauty and brilliance. The double Bs, 